few days ago, I heard a, um, a lecture, a speech of, of that famous black leader, Malcolm X, that he was a very powerful leader. And he is talking and explaining and I don't have a problem with all of those methods. I really am open to listen and to hear. But when you hear him talking about how the black people suffered under the hands of the white, okay, I hear you, no problem. I can hear every word you say. But then to explain that the real way to go is to follow Muhammad and to be Muslim. So, what's the connection? What, what, how, how did you change your move to understand that Islam, because you were spending 10 or 12 years in prison with Muslim, the brothers, the Muslim brothers? Okay, that, that, was, that was the reason. It's not coming out of it. I'm not saying Chasr Shalom to say bad things about him or about no one, but really just we need to understand that the real deep understanding will not going to bring you not to the Islam and not to Christianity and not even to Judaism that it's the most ancient religion. It's not that. The real investigation is going to bring you to find yourself and then you're going to wake up to find your real path in life. And then the religion doesn't have no, no, no importance anymore. Because really, when he's quoting the Islam and he's saying the Islam is a wonderful religion and he's quoting verses, those are verses that have been translated to Arabic from the Chumash, from the Bible. It's not Quran. It's not really Quran. He's saying verses from the Quran. And I hear those verses that have been translated to Arabic from the Chumash. So... Really, he found amazing verses in the Quran. I'm sorry, brother. It's not from the Quran. It's from the Bible. It's just been translated. And that's the source that you saw. You found it first time in your life written in the Quran. Great. I understand that you feel so much connection and love now today to the Quran because you found Judaism over there in the Quran. I see that. That's the light of Christianity. That's the light of Islam. They took the good that they realized, that they understood, that they were able to translate, and they brought it again in a, in a new edition to the nations. If one nation, if, if now the Islam tried to conquer the Arabic nations, the, the Ishmaelim nations and, and, and people, you cannot tell those people not to eat or to drink from the milk of the camel. You cannot. Because that is their animal. That's something that you will not gonna. If you're gonna tell them no, they're not gonna listen to you. If you now, so you you have to change a little bit the rules and to say no. You are allowed to eat this and this and that. And now, in addition, we the Muslims allow also to eat camel. Great. What? Why? Just because that you couldn't stop them from eating camels. You go now to the Christians, tell them that pig, that, 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 that white meat is not, not allowed. They're not going to follow you. Tell them that seafood is not allowed. How, how you, who are going to listen to you? Those people are growing pigs for years. That's the main food. That's their main meat. That's the main thing that they're eating. You can tell them now not to eat um, uh, pork chops uh, in, 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 their, in their celebrations. They're not going to. So what do you do? You change a little bit. You say, no, it's allowed. And even though that Jesus himself is saying, I didn't came to change the rules and I came just to complete and I came to. that also crazy to complete a divine Torah that's been given from heaven. You want to complete? You feel like that the words of Hashem were not enough and now you want to complete. But let's say that you want to complete. You want to, 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 to add something of your... Okay, let's say. But it's not what that happened really. When you go and you see what people are doing, Shabbat is not the seventh day. Now it's Sunday. And for the Muslims, it's also. It's Friday. Great. What's going on? Hashem said Shabbat, Ten Commandments, Zachor et Yom Shabbat Lekotcho, Shabbat it's the seventh day. Finito la comedia, no more jokes on that. 
Seventh day, 